Hello friend my name is Ajaz and welcome back to my channel Bro Learner. Today we are going to see how we can create a website template using bootstrap. Here you can see we have heading section where we can include our company name some nav bars and here you can see we have a banner section and here we provide some text heading and some paragraph and after that we have service section and after that we have testimonial where we provide the review of the client and after that we have re recent news section and after that we have footer here we have two footer first is having some detail of our website about company latest news and addresses and after that we have main footer like copyright name and social media account okay now to make this website we use some color some background images you can clearly see to having background images we use unsplash.com here you can choose any image that you want in your website and after that we can choose color with the help of flat ui color.com and you can choose any color from here and you can select manually according to your need and after that you can clearly see we have some anchor bar diamond and so on we can use font awesome website to choose the icons okay now let's see how we can create this website template using bootstrap okay now here you can see i created basic template of html and after that i include the css link and script link of bootstrap by bootstrap website you can see css link and script link here okay i will provide you the link in description and after that you can clearly see i have a custom css here you can see and you can see the file format i only have index.html and style.css okay now after that i just create first heading and inside this heading i create a container class container inside this container i create a row class row class inside this row i create two call class call with breakpoint md and i provide here for logo or you can say company name i provide for grid okay now here i provide the com now here i provide h1 tag and said this i provide company name okay now after this i provide after this i provide dot call hyphen md hyphen 8 8 plus 4 is 12 okay now after this i provide ul tag inside this ul i provide li ta tag and inside li tag i provide anchor tag and i just copy and paste five times okay now here i provide home you can provide any nav bar okay about us about us gallery products and at the end contact us us okay now here i provide a id menu now after that i provide a company name with id logo and here i provide a class here class float hyphen md hyphen right i want this menu to the right to my website okay now let's do some styling first here i provide has heading and i provide the color to be white color to be white i provide triple f and after this i provide background color background color and i choose background color, color from here platy i just uh, choose the first palette and here 
I provide this color you can clearly see I have this color only you can clearly see I just provide this color Alizarian I just click and copy and paste here and after that now let's save and see the result now you can see it is look like uh, perfect now after this I just remove this uh, bullet point and change the color of this home okay now here I just provide the ID menu I provide less style none and after that I provide margin and padding zero margin padding zero okay now let's save and see the result now you can see it the margin and bullet point is removed and after that I provide here has menu li and here I provide display display inline block inline block now after that I provide has menu align of anchor with color and after that I provide padding top and bottom 15 pixel and left and right 10 pixel and after that I change the display type with display block okay now let's save and see the result now you can see now after this I want to remove this uh, um, text decoration you can see underline I just use here in the top because we want to do it again and again I just use a colon hover pseudo class hover and I provide text decoration none we have to remove the text decoration from the anchor and anchor hover also now after that I just copy this I just copy this and paste here I just copy this and paste here and I provide hover hover and after that I want to change the color here you can see when we hover the color is little bit darker for that I just copy this color and provide here background color and paste here now let's save and see the result okay now you can see when I hover you can see the change okay now after that you can see our company name is too big we have to reduce it okay for that we choose our selector has logo and I provide here font size font size to RAM to RAM and after that now let's save and see the result now you can see it is reduced but you can see there is a mm, less margin that we expect here you can see now here I provide margin top margin top 5 pixel now let's save and see the result now you can see it is perfect having equal margin from top and bottom okay now let's create our banner for that I already choose an image okay now I just minimize this and here I create an ID has banner and inside this I create a container class contain inside this container I create a row class row class inside this row I create a class banner hyphen title and here I provide h2 tag class name title and after this I provide here here I provide some heading and after this I provide a p tag and here I provide 
some text okay now i provide a class to this p tag class lead i want to just increase a little bit the font size of this paragraph for that we have in bootstrap we have lead class okay now after this i will do the css of this banner okay now let's do the css of banner first of all here i provide has banner and here i provide curly bracket now i provide background image with url and here i provide the path banner dot jpg and after this i provide here no repeat and provide the x axis and y axis 0 0 and after this i provide background size cover okay now after this i provide the styling to our title oh here i provide mistakenly h2 tag here i change this h2 with h1 here also and you can see here t word is missing i just change and after this i provide here dot panel hyphen title and after that i provide here background r r g b a and here i provide the white color background with some transparency that's why i use r g b a red green blue and alpha i provide 255 comma 255 comma 255 comma 0.8 this is for white color background and after this i provide here display display here I change the display block to inline block inline block and after this I provide padding padding 10 pixel and after that I provide margin 0 now let's save and see the result first now here you can see we have this h1 oh sorry we have to here provide h1 tag because i want this color only to the h1 tag you can see now it is applied to the h1 here you can see we have h1 with white background okay now after this i provide here dot banner title p dot lead I want to change the color of paragraph which having lead class that's why I provide p dot lead and here I provide color has triple f now after this I provide background color background color I provide want to provide this color but with some transparency that's why I just remove this and go to the chrome and after this I just copy the color with the help of this colorzilla extension you can also download it now we are going to copy the color i just click here and copy the color and after that click here again and pick the color i just copy the rgb value just copy and after this come here and paste now we have to provide here a also because we want to some transparency okay at 0.7 percent okay now after this i provide the padding padding 10 pixel to this also and after this i provide here banner title banner title banner title with some padding top padding top 5 ram now let's save and see the result here you can see we are not having any call class now let's provide dot call hyphen lg providing the breakpoint and after that i provide 6 grid and hit enter and after this i just cut this out and paste after this and now let's save and see the result 
I format this document first and after this now let's see the result now here you can see it is perfectly fine now when I click when I click F12 press F12 when we are going to see it on extra large screen or large screen you can see we have extra spaces now here I provide another breakpoint call md for medium screen and here i provide 8 grade now in medium screen it would be of 8 grade let's save and see the result now here you can see it is having 8 grade when in medium screen you can clearly see okay now i just cut this out and after this we are going to do the coding of this service section okay now we are going to create our service section first of all i just minimize this and here i provide first container class container class inside this container i provide a row class row class okay now here i also provide another class which is section class section class and after this here i provide a call class with breakpoint md and here i provide 12 because i want to provide here h2 tag now here i provide service service section after this i provide here a div of call md hyphen 4 i provide 4 grade and here i provide a class Now here I provide another div with class service hyphen box and after this I provide here i tag and after this I provide here h3 tag h3 and here I provide some random text some heading goes here okay now after this i provide 10 word paragraph okay okay now now let's select some icon for our service section just open your browser and search font awesome and hit enter and after that go to the first link and here click on start for free and here click on icons and search icon i want anchor and cur and hit enter now here you can see an anchor tag just copy this class or you can copy whole okay i just click and copy now for using font awesome you have to search font awesome cdn and hit enter now just click the first link okay now just copy this just copy this and after this come to here and go to the heading section after the link of bootstrap just hit enter and provide link and here paste the link that you copied from font awesome cdn okay now after this we have to copy the font again just copy and paste here paste here i just remove this and paste here and after this i just copy this section i just copy this section from here to here copy and paste two time okay now here we have to first another icon just search bar bar graph bar chart okay just come here and copy this icon and paste here okay no sorry paste here after this we have a diamond shape icon you can clearly see anchor bar graph and then we have diamond shape just search here just search 
डायमंड and hit enter now after this just select the icon that you want okay i want this icon i just copy this and come here and paste here paste here and now let's see how it look like in our website now you can see our icon is successfully come here okay now here first i change this chart bar to bar chart bar chart and after this here you can see we have h2 tag now here i provide a class class section hyphen head okay now let's save and here now first we are going to provide the css of i now let's first provide the service service and here i provide text align text align center and after this i provide here dot service hyphen box and here i provide now here i provide color i just copy the same color this and here i provide font size 70 70 pixel and after this i provide margin bottom 15 pixel okay now here we have to provide the far hyphen solid because you can see you can see we are having far solid class here and here but here you can see we have regular now first let's save and see the result now here you can see we have this icon in the correct css now here you can see now we have to style this also okay now here i just copy this and paste it again and here i just provide regular regular because here we have regular class okay now you can see it is also having the same css okay now after this we are going to style this heading okay now here i come to the top and here I provide dot section and here I provide padding top and I just provide here 70 pixel and I just copy this and here I provide bottom okay after this I provide dot section h2 tag section head head and after this i provide here color black i provide black color here has triple zero and after this i provide text align center and after that i provide margin bottom 40 pixel and after this i provide a pseudo class for for i provide the pseudo class for this bar okay here i provide paste and i provide after after and i provide here background color I just provide the same color that we are using and after this I provide content and here I provide blank content and after this I provide width 100 pixel and I provide height very minimal height 3 
pixel and after this I provide here margin 20 top and bottom pixel and auto from left and right now let's save and see the result here you can see our service section is visible but our bar is not visible because we have to provide here display block okay now let's save you can see now it is visible okay now after this we are going to create our now we are going to make testimonial section for that i just minimize this and here i provide first has testimonial testimonial and here i provide a class section and after this i provide here dot container class con container class inside this container i provide a row class inside this row i provide a call class with breakpoint md and here i provide 12 and after this i, I provide here h2 tag and with class name section hyphen head and here i provide test t monial provide testimonial section okay now after this i provide here dot call hyphen md hyphen 6 and here i provide dot testimonial class and here i provide p tag with 15 word paragraph and after this i provide here image tag here i provide bill dot bill hyphen gate dot jpg now here i provide height and width width 50 pixel and height also 50 pixel after this i provide here dot author class and here i provide bill gates and after this i provide dot author hyphen company and here i provide microsoft microsoft and i just copy this i just copy this and paste it here and here i just change this with steve jobs steve job and here i change the company name apple and here also i change steve job steve job okay now after this now let's save and see the result now here you can see we have this section and we don't have any background color or background image you can say here we have some background image we are going to provide a thin film like you can see a transparent blue color shade you can see we copy from here okay now we are going to provide the css okay now here i provide has test t mo nil and here i provide color here i provide triple f hexadecimal code and background color background color sorry background image url and here i provide the path testimonial dot jpg okay now after this i provide here no repeat no repeat and provide x axis and y axis and after this i provide background size 
cover and after this I provide padding Fifty pixel top and bottom and zero fix pixel from left and right and after this I provide position position relative okay now after this I provide here a thin film you can see here you can see uh, I have a background image and before this image after this image you can see a blue color transparent shade I am going to use this color I copy and we want hexadecimal code for that I just use colorzilla and I choose pick color and paste the hexadecimal code here now I just copy this copy okay now after this I provide here the same has testimonial and here I provide a pseudo class before before and after this I provide here background and I paste this and after this I provide here 0 0.5 7 and after this I provide content blank and after this I provide position absolute and after this I provide top 0 and after this I provide width 100% and height equals to 100 pixels percent okay height hundred percent okay now after this let's say and see the result here you can see our all the stacks and mm, are also in shading okay now we are fixed with the help of z index okay now here you can see I provide a z index to testimonial p and div you can see we have p paragraph and div okay now after this here i provide z index z index here i provide zero this uh, div and um, paragraph is op over this color okay now let's save and see the result now you can see our testimonial and image is now clear and after this we provide has testimonial testimonial and here i provide img and after this border radius 50 percent now let's say and see the result now you can see our image is also perfectly matching to this okay now here you can see our testimonial section having black color okay now i can change with the help of bootstrap class testimonial here i provide text hyphen white now let's save and see the result now you can see our taxes are also white okay now we are going to create our recent news section I just minimize this and after this I come to here and provide a ID news and after this I provide a class container and section and after this I provide hit enter and provide row class inside this row class i provide a call class call hyphen md hyphen 12 and here i provide h2 tag and i provide class section hyphen head and after this i provide here recent news and after this i provide here 
डॉट कॉल हाइफन एल जी हाइफन थ्री एंड हिट एंटर एंड आफ्टर दिस आई प्रोवाइड हेयर न्यूज पोस्ट न्यूज हाइफन पोस्ट एंड इन साइड दिस आई प्रोवाइड इमेज टैग हेयर आई प्रोवाइड यू कैन सी वी हैव न्यूज वन न्यूज टू न्यूज थ्री ओके आई प्रोवाइड न्यूज वन डॉट ए वी आई एफ ओके नाउ हेयर आई प्रोवाइड हाइट एंड विथ 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 इक्वल्स टू फोर हंड्रेड पिक्सल एंड हाइट इक्वल्स टू टू हंड्रेड पिक्सल ओके आफ्टर दिस आई प्रोवाइड एच थ्री टैग एंड इन दिस टैग आई प्रोवाइड ए टैग एंड हेयर आई प्रोवाइड न्यूज हेडिंग हेयर यू कैन चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू योर नीड ओके ना आफ्टर दिस हेयर आई प्रोवाइड पी टैग एंड आई प्रोवाइड सम डमी टैग्स ओके ना आफ्टर दिस आई प्रोवाइड हेयर आई प्रोवाइड एन एंकर टैग विथ क्लास रीड मोर रीड मोर एंड हेयर आई प्रोवाइड रीड मोर आई जस्ट कॉपी दिस कॉलम डिव एंड आफ्टर दिस आई प्रो पेस्ट इट थ्री टाइम वन टू एंड थ्री एंड आई जस्ट चेंज द इमेज नेम ओनली वन टू टू एंड थ्री हेयर एंड फोर हेयर ओके नॉलेज सेव एंड सी द रिजल्ट नो हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैविंग दिस न्यूज सेक्शन हेयर ओके नो हेयर यू कैन सी आवर इमेज जस्ट टच ईच अदर बिकॉज वी प्रोवाइड द साइज फोर हंड्रेड विच इज टू मच दैस वाई वी आर रिड्यूसिंग टू थ्री हंड्रेड टू ऑल ऑफ दिस इमेज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थ्री हंड्रेड हेयर एंड यू कैन सी हेयर ऑल्सो वी प्रोवाइड थ्री हंड्रेड नो लेस सेव एंड सी द रिजल्ट नो हेयर यू कैन सी आवर इमेज नो हैविंग सम कैप यू कैन इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर कैप यू कैन प्रोवाइड लेस वेथ ओके नो लेस टू दी एस एस ऑफ आवर रिसेंट न्यूज फर्स्ट आई प्रोवाइड हेयर डॉट न्यूज हाइफन पोस्ट एंड हेयर आई प्रोवाइड आई एम जी एंड आई प्रोवाइड हेयर वेथ हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड आफ्टर दैट आई प्रोवाइड मार्जिन बॉटम टेन पिक्सल and after this i provide here same class news post and here i provide h3 tag and after this i provide font size 1.35 rem after this i change the color of this blue you can clearly see here we have blue color i want to change this okay now i provide here H3 anchor and I change the color that is our base color that I am using from starting of this video okay now after this I provide dot post date okay now here I provide the size font size 13 pixel and after this i provide margin bottom 2 pixel after this i provide the icon here you can see in our base you can see this is icon now here i open font awesome and click the first link okay now here i search the icon calend 
enter and hit enter now choose any one that you want i just choose this one and here you can see this unicode value i just copy this okay now after this i provide here dot post date and after this i provide a pseudo class before and i provide here content and here i paste a unicode and after this i provide font family which is font awesome and after this i provide padding padding right 5 pixel okay now after this i provide read more size you can see we have read more and here i provide dot a dot read more and here i provide font size 14 pixel and after this i provide a dot read more and here i provide after and and again we are providing the and again we are providing the uh, icon okay now here i choose forward hit enter and here i scroll a little bit down i just choose this one and copy the unicode you can clearly see we have this icon here okay now here i provide content and i paste this here and after this here i one thing i forgot is backslash and here also we have to provide the backslash okay now after this i just copy this and here i provide semicolon and paste and here i provide left because we already here you can see we have this icon at the end of this we cannot provide the left right margin so that's why we provide here left margin 15 5 pixels okay now after this you can see the result here we have calendar but it is repeated two times okay here we have to see what will happen here okay we already provide the date you can clearly see i just remove this okay here you can see i provide the date twice that's why it seems like this happened now let's save and see the result now you can see it is perfectly fine but here you can see our read more icon is not visible now let's see why it's not there you can see here we have spelling error now just remove and now let's save and see the result again now you can see we have the icon now okay now we are going to create our footer and now we are going to first create id footer footer hyphen sidebar side bar and after inside this i provide a container class container class inside this container i provide row class inside this row i provide a call class with breakpoint md and hyphen 4 because we are going to provide 3 column okay now inside this i provide a div with class name footer footer hyphen widgets widgets inside this i provide a h4 tag here i provide about about company 
and after this I provide a paragraph tag inside this I provide 15 word okay now after this I provide here 10 word paragraph again okay now after this I just copy this column I just copy this column and paste it here and I change this heading with latest news and I just remove this and here I create a ul tag an order list inside this i provide an ally tag and here i provide anchor because it is a clickable link okay now here i provide six word text and i just copy and paste five times sorry i just full screen and here you can see okay now after this i just come here after this okay now i paste once again and here i provide heading address address okay and after this i just remove this and here i choose address tag okay now here first I provide B tag I provide my company name okay and after this I provide after this I provide the address now here i provide a random address and our random phone number okay now after this we are going to style this footer okay our footer here you can see we have a special color which i pick from light ui okay i just copy this color and after this i come here and open my css file okay now here i provide hashtag footer hyphen sidebar and here i provide color white and after this i provide the background color that i copied and after this i provide padding adding 20 pixel from top and bottom and zero from left and right and after this i provide here dot footer hyphen widgets and here i provide h4 and provide after after and here what we want to doing is what we are doing is we want to provide this bar okay now here i provide content and i 
provide blank and after this i provide background color background has sorry has triple f and after this we provide display block and after this we provide here width 50 pixel and height a minimal height 2 pixel and after this we provide margin 5 pixel from top and bottom and 0 pixel from left and right now let's save and see the result now here you can see our background is not applied now let's check why it is happened sidebar the id that we are using okay here you can see we have a spelling mistake now let's save and see the result now here you can see our changes are applied okay now after this i change the color of this anchor tag now here i target footer widgets footer widgets and i target the anchor and here i provide the color as triple f and after this i provide a class latest news to our ul class latest news hyphen news and i just copy this class and used here using here and here i provide list style none and after this i provide padding zero and margin zero okay and after this i provide dot latest news li and here i provide margin bottom three pixel and after this i provide you can see in our base you can see the icon i am going to provide this icon okay now here i provide the same class that we are using list and here i provide li and after this we provide before euro class before okay now after this i provide here content backslash f f054 and after this i provide font family font family and here i provide font awesome and after this i provide padding right 5 pixel and after this let's say and see the result now here you can see this is successfully applied okay now after this we are going to create our main footer here you can see we have this footer also okay let's create our main footer i just minimize this and after this i create id has footer and inside this i provide a container class con container inside this container i provide a row class inside this row class i provide a call class call hyphen md hyphen six and i provide here add the rate copy write add the rate Here I provide copyright at the rate 2023 and provide the company name Pro Learner.
and after this I provide here another div call hyphen md hyphen 6 and here I provide and here I provide ul tag inside this ul first I provide id social hyphen icons and after this I provide a class load hyphen right here I provide I and here I provide MD okay now after this here I provide li tag inside this li I provide a tag and here we are going to create a class or you can directly use i tag okay now we are going to use font awesome and provide the for example i want facebook link face book icon and i choose this one i just copy this and paste here i just remove this because we already having this and after this I provide another another okay now here I first choose now here I secondly choose Twitter Twitter I choose this one and I copy this and after this I just change this with Twitter and at the end we are having LinkedIn and I just copy this and paste here paste here now let's save and see the result you can see it is appeared and for color I use this darker version of this color I copy this color okay now let's provide the styling to the footer just provide has and footer and here we provide color triple F and after this we provide background here we copy the color and paste it here pasting here and after this we provide padding 10 pixel from top and bottom and 0 pixel from left and right and after this we provide social icon hyphen icons and here I provide list style none because we don't need that and after this we provide color because our icon color is also blue we have to change this with white and after this we provide margin 0 padding 0 and after this we are going to provide the styling to our social provide ally and after this we are going to change the display type to inline block and after this we provide the padding left and we provide 5 pixel here and after this we provide now I just copy this and here I provide anchor tag and I close this and here I provide color again we are going to provide a white color and font size we want to increase the size 
okay 23 pixel okay now let's save and see the result now here you can see we have two facebook okay we have to change this this is having facebook okay we have to change this with twitter twitter now let's save and see the result now you can see our template is ready to go now after this we are going to check the responsiveness of our website okay now let's check the responsiveness of our template that we created when i we are on the extra large screen you can see everything is perfect because we are making for extra large screen okay now i just reduce it to large you can see now it is again fine you can clearly see it is perfect okay now after this we are on the medium screen you can see everything is fine you can clearly see okay now after this when we are on small screen you can see when we are on large screen you can see here we have some extra spaces we can do like uh, we have two services in single line okay and you can clearly see it is weird and after this it is centered align but you can see our testimonial client review is not centered in a small screen we want to center this review okay now after that you can see it is perfect but here you can see there is there is no gap we have to provide that okay now after that you can clearly see this is not also not centered align and you can see this is attached to each other we have to provide some margin okay we start from our service section here you can see we have call md4 now i want to increase it in a small screen i provide call hyphen sm hyphen six i want six grid in small screen i just copy this and paste it here and here and after this we come to our footer section okay and here also we provide same thing here also and here also okay now after this i just save and now let's see now you can see now it is perfectly fine our all spaces utilize here you can see now it's look like now it's look good okay after that you can see on testimonial section this text is touch each other and you cannot distinguish which text finished and which is is started okay now after this you can see here you can see this read mode button is also touch this image and similarly all of them touching each other and after this you can see it is perfectly fine now let's check for extra small screen you can see here we have mm, less space and this is like we don't we require some margin here okay and here again we have to provide for extra small screen also and for extra small screen for testimonial and here you can see this is having some less margin we have to provide this for extra small screen okay and other thing now let's provide the media query for extra small screen first i use at the rate media and after that i provide angular bracket and here i provide max hyphen width colon and here we provide the 768 pixel the maximum width of extra small screen okay now here first i provide logo header logo and here i provide 
text align text align center and after this I provide margin 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 10 pixel from top and bottom and 0 pixel from left and right now let's save and see the result when I click here you can see our text is aligned and when we are on extra large screen and medium screen you can see it is left align and right align when we are on extra small screen you can see it is centered align okay after that we reduce the size of it okay now first we provide menu here has menu and here I provide text align center again and after this we provide dot testimonial testimonial and here we provide text align center and after this we provide margin bottom 30 pixel now let's save and see the result first now here you can see this is again centered align and when we come to testimonial now you can see the cap before this if I comment this out I just comment this out you can see there is no cap okay after this we provide service box service box and here we provide margin bottom 30 pixel 30 pixel and after this we provide footer widget dot footer widget and here we provide margin bottom 20 pixel margin bottom 20 pixel and after this we provide footer footer and here we provide text align center and after this we provide social icon here social hyphen icons and here we provide margin top 10 pixel and after this we provide here section and we want to reduce the gap margin and padding you can say dot section and here we provide padding now here we provide padding top 40 pixel and after this we provide padding bottom padding bottom 40 pixel because before this it is having 70 pixel and after this we are going to provide banner title and here we provide padding top 0 and after this we are providing banner title banner dot banner title and here we provide h1 h1 and we provide here font size 1.7 ram and after this we provide here media query for medium screen here I provide I just copy this and pasting here and here I change 992 992 pixel and here we close this and here we provide dot news post and margin bottom 30 pixel now let's save and see the result and here you can see on extra small screen you can see text is reduced 
and there is less margin so that you cannot in mobile screen you don't need to scroll more you can easily access all the service and section easily and here you can see it is centered align and the, here you can see some margin which is perfectly fine and you can see this read more button is working here <clears throat> you can see this read more button is perfectly placed and after this you can see image is perfectly fine and all here you can see the padding and margin is reduced now let's check for medium screen now here you can see it is perfectly fine you can and here you can see good everything is good 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 okay now you can see a large and extra large screen it is perfectly fine because we are designing for the large and extra large screen so in this video we see how we can design a template with the help of html css and bootstrap and we can only use three main classes you can say container class row class and call class so this so that's it for today's video hope you like this video if you did please subscribe my channel share with your friends and bye bye